Well, um, I have two main areas. One is education. I do a lot of work with education of parapsychology in general, but the main focus for my work is actually in survival of bodily death and focused on field investigation work with apparitions, hauntings, and poltergeist cases. Um, they're important mainly because people have experiences. You know, we have millions of people around the world who have ESP, PK, and survival-related experiences, and a lot of the ghostly phenomena is part and parcel of those experiences. And they're important because of two things. Number one, people have the experiences and we have to understand why they're having them, what's going on in their experiences and help them out to some extent. I think we really feel very compelled to help people in many ways. The other area is that each of the different types of experiences has serious implications for how our consciousness connects with the environment, connects with other people, and also potentially may survive the death of our body. And those are important things right off the bat. Okay, so <laughs> lately the most, uh, the biggest thing has been this book, uh, working with Ed May, and uh, I rewrote this, uh, a manuscript that he and Victor Rubel had a couple of years ago, and we put together, been working on publishing this book ourselves, and it just came out on Amazon. Um, ESP Wars is about the politics as well as the psychic part of the research that went on with the U.S. and Soviet and now Russian governments and support of the psychic spying programs through the military. Uh, a lot of misinformation that's come out over the years, especially from behind the Iron Curtain and even subsequent to that. And this is kind of setting the record straight in a lot of areas. Uh, Ed May was the project director for the Stargate program from 1985 to 1995 when it closed. People don't know the full story of why it closed and why it was not resurrected even after 9-11. And then the Russian side, we have several Russian sources, including a couple Russian generals who were involved in the research. Uh, in fact, our foreword is by the former number two man of the KGB during the Soviet era. Uh, really interesting politics, though, uh, that go behind this. And so it's actually for a lot more than just people interested in what the remote viewers actually did or what the Russians were capable of doing and what they actually did compared to what we heard that they did. Well, I'm also a professional chocolatier, so I make chocolate and do a lot of chocolate events. I'm also a psychic entertainer, a mentalist, so I do those things. So I, I don't have necessarily a go-to, single go-to, um, maybe comic books, TV, and movies, but chocolate's a big thing, too. I can give the same advice to students entering the field that I got because I was pr pretty much in the same circumstance as a lot of other folks, although I lucked into the only parapsychology program, masters, that we actually had in the United States. Uh, study something that you're really interested in, undergraduate and even graduate. Keep your interest up in parapsychology, and even if you can't incorporate parapsychology in your graduate work uh, independently, try to pull in courses that seem to support that work, which means you need to read. You really need to read the people in the field, and you need to be aware of what goes on in the field. And I think that's the key factor. Uh, it's the biggest difference between the ghost hunting community and people who are really interested in doing something professionally or even scientifically with this subject, with psychic phenomena, is to know who's in the field of parapsychology and know what parapsychology covers and our history. So really, that's it. Why am I staying in this field, given the fact that I'm not making a living in it? Mm -hmm. And the answer to that question really is because I see that psychic experiences and understanding them is kind of a great mystery. I mean, we talk about space being the final frontier, or the ocean being the final frontier, or the mind being the final frontier. In some respects, people's experience, the mind, that is really what we're trying to understand. And 
as someone who grew up with comic books and science fiction, to me, psychic phenomena and what parapsychology is looking at, the experiences people looking, or we're looking at in this field, say a huge amount about human potential. And I'm in this because there's a big mystery here, and that is where are the limits for who we are, and why can't we just keep looking at it?